Big sigh, big deep breath. We're gonna be okay. We'll be all right. I got a panda. Good morning, and welcome back to Coffee with Santi. Today, um, I thought uh, I would spin off a thing I talked about yesterday. Um, yesterday I talked about like things I wouldn't do for a million dollars. Um, and one of the things that I mentioned was I wouldn't go back to school. I wouldn't go back to like any part of my schooling that wasn't my freshman year of college. Well, I was thinking about that and I was thinking about uh, myself as a, a teenager. Um, and I thought, what, what would I say, like if I were to meet like me when I was 16, or no, let's say, let's say 14. If I were to meet me when I was 14, what would I say um, and, and what advice would I give my former self? And first of all, we're assuming this is not through time travel because I, I'm not gonna mess with time travel. <laughs> um, let's just, let's just, this is totally hypothetical. If this scenario were to ever come up in the real life, I would not talk to my former self. That's how you get a paradox. But one of the things um, I would say is I would tell my former self uh, to not worry so much about pleasing other people um, because one of the things that I've kind of learned as I've gotten older is that you're not gonna make everybody happy and like I know that's a pretty common piece of advice but it's like something that unless until you learn it it like doesn't really sink in and I feel like if there was one thing that I could like teach my former self it would be that because that has caused a lot of issues in my life is like this desire to to make people happy and to like people please and it's never a good thing to do um anyway and so i think to save myself a lot of trouble i would just be like hey you know sometimes people aren't going to be happy and you know what uh that's probably fine <laughs> the other thing is i would probably tell like 14 year old me to just go to therapy and I don't mean that like because 14 year old me was like effed up or anything like that. I just mean like it's it, there's a lot of trauma that's going to come after this time period. And I think it'd be good to have that foundation set like early so that I wouldn't uh, have such trouble later on kind of dealing with the things that happen in my life. Because uh, I, I feel like therapy just kind of gives you like a good a good foundation to deal with like your emotions and to have sort of emotional resilience. Um, and so I think that's something that I would say. And the other thing I would say is to uh, not be afraid to be authentically myself. Um, because I, I feel like I spent a lot of like my teenage years like trying to fit in either against what people wanted me to be or for what people wanted me to be. I feel like there's a me in there in between those two things that kind of existed that never really poked his head out. Um, and I think that would be good if early on I could learn the person that I was and to express that. So it would be more developed by the time I was 20 and wouldn't feel weird about, uh, about expressing that. Yeah, weirdly deep today, open my heart up to the internet. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like, maybe subscribing down below. I make videos like this ever so often, so if you like this, I'll see you some other time.